Camera B. Thank you. Yeah. Again, I'm pushing this forward and I have both my hands. It's that, that push past and pull back, right? That's what's really giving me the ability to keep that center there. You know, a lot of people use their fingers. I'm always using my palm and my body weight, right? If you end your day <coughs> of throwing off and you're like, your upper body is sore, you know, I feel like you're not using your body weight enough. So I got that pretty much centered there. So this middle part, like I'm feeling that, and I'm gonna give it some extra love, right? Because I could feel my fingers going and feeding into a channel rather than pushing the clay. The clay was pushing me. <coughs> and whenever that happens, that's a kind of, you don't want that to happen really. You wanna be in control, okay? So first, this is going to be our first normal pull for height. So I'm taking this clay, I'm pushing this down ever so slightly on this bottom here. Going right over top of my finger. And then say hello to the bump. And then start taking this bump up the side of the clay, right? That's all we're doing. And then as we're getting to the top, I'm noticing that it's wanting to put a little bit more tension. So I want to go a little bit slower with my hand, you know. Maybe at the bottom I was going a little bit too fast. So I'm just trying to match that speed there, right? All right. And at the bottom here, take some of that water out of there. And then we're gonna start with a little spiral on the bottom here. Take the spiral up, take a breath. Slow it down. Pause. And let's make one more full rotation. So then you're not making that top really off center. We're gonna start on the bottom here. One, two, three, four, six. Oh, got six. Almost could fit a seven, but we're gonna have to deal with the six. Okay. And on that top and get ready for a twist here. A little bit of water on the inside here. Fingers coming out. And so this is where we gotta be gentle. And I'm starting to feel a little bit of tension. Grab that sponge, set it on my fingers, try to get a bead of water on that ridge. Nice, going back in. And the thing is that I don't wanna do is put too much tension to the point where I tear that middle off. I can feel an air bubble on this top rim so I'm going to slowly settle. Oh, wow, look, it's starting to sit. It was collapsing inward, so it started to really sit in there. And look at that tearing. Camera C. So maybe you guys can see the... Maybe I have to go on this side for you to see the tearing. But look at all the tearing that's happening. Pretty interesting. You know, the clay was a little bit hard, but... Every time you, like, hop on the wheel and you start messing around with the clay, it's gonna like ask you to react with it a little bit differently, right? Awesome, there we go. So now we have this kind of more narrow cylinder here. Put a little bit of water in my arm. And then now we call that in, we don't really wanna do a height pull. We just wanna almost compress that bump in between two of our fingers and just take that up because sometimes when you collar, you're putting some tension on the clay and it's starting to torque, right? And then twist on that inside. I don't really know how to say torque. Typically we shouldn't do this pull, but I wanna kinda feel some, some tenseness. Plus this music right now is really hitting, so I gotta match the music with my actions here. And so you can see that transition from that middle was not great, but we're still keeping the same bump. Okay, sick. Y'all, all right, um, camera B, camera B. Oh, this thing collapsed, interesting. Well, I'll still cruise with it in a second, but look, 
Grace. I got one of the OGs, yo. And then, <laughs> you know, do you remember when we worked together on that little collaborative thing? I don't know if you remember this one, but I threw like one of those forms, like those cup forms, and then you carved into it. All right, the mission has been set. The goal is upward and beyond. <laughs> Are you ready, cadets? Get in your space shuttles and let's cruise. Blast off to the sky. Blast off, number two, go. Blast off, number three. No. It's wobbly, sir. That's okay. Keep going. And they made it. Oh no. One of the cadets. He's gone a little bit off track. But it's okay. He parachuted and he's coming back down. He got back down safe. And we're going to use our whole hand a little bit to, to start that twist low. And slowly bring the pinkies out on this. Dang, kind of sad it didn't collapse a little bit lower. Hmm. Hello, cadets. Today we have a new pot, and I'm thinking this pot has some cool things. It has some things that we don't really like. But most importantly, it is baked with intention. If we look here, right at the bottom, we see the tandrels, long tandrels, about halfway up the pot there, right? Really guiding that viewer up to the middle section here. And then if we walk over here and we look at this middle section, I think that was one of the things that we did wrong with this pot, is we made the, tan or the veins of the, the tree, that's that twist, we did them a little bit too long in that bottom, like, half. I feel like I would have liked it if it was more gradual instead of so condensed. But it does add some tension there, right? The contrast between the looseness of the bottom and that tension in the middle is actually doing something. And I think it was preparing it for the top. And did I do successfully on this top? I don't think so. Yo, I think we got it. <coughs> We're going to hit a little bump out right over the finger. Fingers on the inside. You get out of here with that nonsense, yo. Look at that pole, man. Yo, I hope somebody was here for that one. Holy cow. If not, I'll put it in the YouTube shorts, but that thing felt like insane. I can thin this out enough. And make it look really like one. All right. I got a lot of water there now. You see I'm adding water there. Really trying to make it a little bit softer. So as I push out. I want to just tuck right on that inside edge there. Oh, I ripped it over so slightly. That's okay. I'm still going to finish it even though it has a rip. Sometimes it can fall pretty cool. Our fingers kind of there for a little bit. Slow it down. Allow it to sort of rip off. And let's see what happens here. And then slowly stop. <laughs> and so it's kind of ripping and taking that top off, but we made it look like the rip a little bit more weird, right? This one has got to be the one for today. Like even the tear is a little bit weird, right? But I think it's really doing it some favors if you look at it from above. I think it gives just enough interest on a, like a pretty normal pot, so it gives some more intention with those other aspects. Like the twist seems pretty perfect, right? The bottom tangles, they're very organized, a lot more intentional than what I normally do on those, right? Usually I'd be a little bit more loose, like the one over here, the tangles are a little bit more loose, right? And so it allows for that, that rip on the top to really start feeling more intentional and thought about rather than just a mistake, right? 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. All the best and strong mentality.